All right, we have the Blitzen upside down. I'm trying to do the, I'm trying to do that round uh, belly to it, which you cannot see uh, on that model. But Blitzen had a round body or a round belly rather, round top too, of course. So I'm doing something a little different than what uh, I've seen the rest of the cycle cart crowd do. Instead of the drop floor um, with the bent aluminum. I uh, made this bracket for the drop seat, these two brackets for the drop seat, and then uh, this one up here um, underneath my pedals, and I've got cardboard templates in here, so the idea is it's going to, uh, just the edge will just nip down in there and just tuck in those uh, between the, the frame rails and those brackets right there, and uh, I've pre-drilled uh, these brackets for rivets. Uh, trying to make some templates here, which I'm not doing a very good job, but just to give a starter idea, because once I start doing this, I, I don't know if I'm able to run the camera. And uh, <laughs> of course, it's flipped out because I can't use two hands here. Um, I've marked on here where my bends need to be, um, and I'm just, uh, probably just going to bend it over my knee. I've got a 20 gauge aluminum, which is. 032 I believe so it's not terribly thick here we go yeah you probably can't see that 20 gauge 032 it's not the 050 stuff that that uh that 050 stuff is pretty pretty heavy duty pretty good this is a little bit easier to work with but um much much flimsier so so this one piece is going to go over here and I'll make that one, and then I'll do a, another one separately on that side, and it will fold over as well, and then there will be a, a two of them on the bottom. And that way it'll give me a little bit uh, sturdier floor, and then I'll have to rivet the rivet the two together. So maybe a, an exercise in rivets that may look, uh, may look a little ugly. I may regret this maneuver, but I wanted, I wanted two pieces here on the floor, and... Um, Frankly, doing it in one piece, I don't trust myself to be able to cut it uh, correctly with the bends and everything uh, in one go. I mean, I, I would try to do it bigger and then go back and trim a little bit and do the back and forth and refit. I probably could do that, but that's still going to give me the weaker floor. Again, that's only 032, so I want this to, to be a little bit sturdy. And also, this is practice for when I go to do the the body on the top so i'm doing a similar style on the on the top but I, it's going to have to be much much neater up top obviously um you know keep it from looking from looking like crap on the bottom i, I can get away maybe get away with a uh, mangling it a little bit uh a little bit uh easier and it's a smaller piece too it's it's a smaller it's a smaller area to work with all right let's see what we can do